I am down here at EV Republic today. We were here yesterday doing the Cybertruck tug of war in their parking lot and I got a chance to see their operation and what they do. And it's just too cool not to do a video on. These guys are able to do ba uh, battery swaps in Teslas for about a third what everybody thinks they cost. And it's gonna really debunk that high, high cost myth. So we're t I'm gonna be uh, going in and Mike is gonna show us around and he's gonna show us the process and just kind of give us a rundown on what it is that they do. And I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with their operation. It's EV's Republic, I believe, not EV Republic. So, all right, let's go take a look. to try to get a donor vehicle so he can get a battery. Didn't work out. Uh, so now he's trying to get that car sent back to the auction. The auction told him no, so now he's gonna get a third car to try to make it work. Ugh. But these two batteries are being swapped from one car to another. Nice. See that kind of often. This one looks like it was just finished being repaired or getting Yeah, that one was open yesterday when I saw it. So a lot of the times it's just like one, one cell pack. And one brick, we only do one or two. Uh, you can kind of see them on the wall there. Mm -hmm. uh, VMS, when this guy has issues, we go inside there and help, you know, fix that. But the bricks is usually one to two bricks. Do you run into issues like, let's say my battery has 20% degradation mm -hmm. and the brick battery has 3% degradation. Do they need to match up pretty well or does it matter? Or? It's, it's more of the degradation is because of one of the bricks. Okay. Right? So there's 16 of them inside and the battery behaves like the worst one. Oh. So as soon as one starts to fail, it'll back behave like that one. If there's multiple that are bad, it'll pick the worst one mm -hmm. and behave like that. And then every time you replace, it'll just notch higher to its best ability. Nice. And uh, what we found is the pricing and everything, two bricks is usually the highest people want to go because then you're knocking on the door of pricing of replacing. Yeah. So. And let's, so I, let's say I have a, a brick fail. Mm -hmm. My battery comes up, replace high voltage. Mm -hmm. Tesla would charge me like eighteen thousand dollars probably for a uh, Model Y battery. Depends on what battery you have. Depends on what car. Mm -hmm. um, all different years, they all have different applications. Some batteries have been discontinued, mm -hmm. so they're not going to offer you what your car had. They're going to offer you much bigger, and then either reduce it or charge you that extra amount. Yeah. Uh, so we still have some of those that have been discontinued that are still in good condition. Yeah. So we offer those sometimes, uh, but then it's it's kind of one of those things where. It's just what's your what's your application moving forward? What is yeah. it you want to do with it? How long do you want it to last? Stuff like that. So, so I see a lot of stuff online where guys are like, you know, twenty five thousand for a new battery, which I know that's high. I'm going to use the Model Y long range because that's the best selling car in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and I, from what I hear, that's about eighteen thousand to replace that. Give at or take. Tesla. Give or take. Some of their batteries, they're they're ninety kilowatt and they're hundred kilowatt are about twenty thousand dollars themselves. Yeah. Just the battery. I believe they come with a 78 or 77.5 or something right. like that. So they, what they do is they offer you a battery for a certain price. And you got to remember when they build a car, before they sell the car, they've got maintenance, they've got lease, they've got sale, they've got all these different levels. And they have their line of what they're going to try to make, right? So whether you service it, you buy it, you lease it, you're going to be right along their line where they yeah. want you. So they've already done this math a long time before they've finished putting it all together. Uh, with that being said, your your 100 kilowatt battery and your 90 kilowatt battery are about 20,000 for just the part from Tesla. Make sure you're getting both of us in frame. So then the, <laughs> if you think about it, if you're looking at 2017, I actually had a customer do this math. 2017, the Model X had a 75 battery option and 100. Mm -hmm. The difference between the two was about 17,500. Wow. Today, if you do the math from $2017, today, that is about $25,000. Yeah. So it's relative. But it didn't increase, it didn't lower, it's, it's relative to what the dollar was worth. So on my Model Y, I have one pack go bad. Mm -hmm. You guys could replace that for just ballpark. Potentially $6,500 to $7,500. Um, depends if it's a newer design. If it's the newest one, I can't repair it yet. Okay. Um, the first version of the Ys and the threes. We're doing repairs on yeah. those, but the brand new, the newest ones, there's just sometimes yeah. you gotta wait a little bit. Well, and it. most all of us are under warranty still, so it's not gonna That's, be an issue yeah. for a long time, very, anyways. But very rare. This is just this. for those that are panicking. It, you know, well, in five years, I'm gonna have to spend X dollars. Five years, you'd have to buy an engine. Five yeah. years, you'd have to buy a transmission. Yeah, like most I was saying, I spent eighteen thousand dollars on the transmission for my for my Dodge truck, and it still didn't work, and I sold it for parts. You so. get a lot of customers that go buy a new car. 
right? And they're like yeah. so excited and they're like, it was only this much and my warranty only covers this, but then I bought the extended yeah. warranty. Well, how much was that extended warranty? Mm -hmm. Was it another 10 grand? Was it another 20 grand for the extended yeah. warranty? Because now you're basically prepaying the repairs and it's now not just the car's warranty, yeah. but your extra protections. Well, if, if you can do a better repair for half the cost, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, if your water pump goes out on, on the engine on your gas it's car, you don't replace the whole engine. Exactly. You replace the water when pump. When you get a flat, so. you don't replace the whole car. Yeah. You change yeah. your tire. We have, right. we, our family has a security company. We have a night route. Okay. And we do about 65,000 miles a year on our night route. Oh. So we're going to be replacing our Ford Explorers that get 18 miles to the gallon with Tesla oh. Model 3s or Model Ys. Okay. And we figure over like a seven, eight year period, we're going to save about $150,000 in fuel and maintenance costs per vehicle. Oh, easily. So it's going to, easily. they're going to pay for the cars, yeah. but we're going to be throwing ridiculous mileage on these things. Oh, we're going to blow through our warranty in two years. Oh, yeah. So, you know, yeah. for guys like us that are putting miles on, it really makes sense to... Well, you know, before COVID, people were doing 30, 40,000 miles a year. Yeah. Uh, they might have been still telling their insurance they were doing 10 to 15. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that was, that was years ago. That was the yeah. 80s and 90s when people were actually driving 10,000 miles a year. You have your elderlies, you have your people who have multiple cars, you mm -hmm. have your people who live in different area codes, so they don't drive the same cars often. Yeah. But uh, your, your service interval used to be three months, 3,000 miles. They moved that to one year, 10,000 mm -hmm. on a lot of cars. That's three or four visits in one. So if your three month, 3,000 mile visit was $300, times that by four, your $1,000 visit now, your $1,200 yeah. makes sense. So we, we have a family of five mm -hmm. with everybody's got their own car. Okay. But we have one Tesla. And if somebody, we live in Grass Valley, so if somebody has to drive to Sacramento today, they're taking the Tesla. Yep, yep. Because we have solar, so it's, it's free. Free, free, it's free, a free, free to drive. Yeah. So last year i would bet that the highest any car got mileage on it was 5,000 miles and i put 28,000 miles on the tesla last year and it saved our family yeah. a lot well i mean if you okay so if you did five on any of the other cars let's say there's multiple of them you did 28 if you just dropped it down to 10 you got 18 to distribute between what three other cars it's next to 6,000 miles a year yeah put you right back at 10. and that model y long range is great in the snow People panic when they hear. Easy I've seen easy. a couple videos where there's regular cars that are just sliding down yeah. the hill, and then you got the Tesla. Just the, the Tesla traction control is <laughs> it's revolutionary. It's so, do you have any battery packs that are actually open that we can um, see, or can we just get like close up on these over here? Maybe these ones are closed. I, I, I want to get some, just like do yeah. a walk through. Yeah. Of. Here's some more. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, these ones. If you could get this part down, don't show these on top of the battery pack. Yeah. And then can we get the actual, yeah. the, the, their back stock? Do you guys still have the side of the truck? Uh, I don't know if it's still here today. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's here. I, I cut off the tip of my finger. From it. I don't know if you heard about that, but I tried to. I, right as they're racing, my drone was malfunctioning, and I'm watching, and I tried to catch the drone. Oh, and no. it took the tip of my finger right off. The blade? Yeah, it oh, got wow. me across here, and you can see the line where the blade went. It's pretty cool. And, uh, and I'm like, I didn't want to stop and go to the hospital, so I just put it back and bandaged it up. And I don't have feeling in this hand, anyways. So. I was going to say, you've probably been through some worse experiences in yeah. the field. <laughs> well, I think we. I mean, you gave me a good breakdown. I don't like my videos to go go long anyways. No, no, no. It's a lot of information if you're not careful, so you kind of got to yeah. choose what to, what to touch on. Yeah. What, you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what is that out of? This was a 2020 Model 3. Okay. This one... And you guys know the mileage on them and all that? Sometimes. I'd like to see this somebody... One's pretty, this one's pretty good right here. This is an all wheel drive. Here you go. 100 kilowatt all-wheel drive. Um, of course, it doesn't say it in English. This one, 353. So this one only has three millivolts imbalance in between the bricks, yeah. which is huge, because that's usually like when it starts to fail, mm -hmm. and that imbalance is, like I said, the battery behaving like the worst brick. Smaller that number, they're all the same. Nice. So that one's always cool. But we have one. We had one here the other day. I think they actually installed it. it was for a model. Three. Mm -hmm. Model three is a 2022 Model Three long range battery, fifty five thousand. Sorry, are you guys you know going to the auctions and buying wrecked Teslas? Then? Sometimes. Um, sometimes we'll get the whole car, and that's how we get the mileage. We just get the battery. We have no idea what the yeah. mileage is. 
And I always try to tell people too, it's irrelevant, which my really is in the car. It's kind of so Elijah had said that this is basically a virtual Tesla, that it simulates all of the components in the car that are needed for the car to talk to the battery pack so that they're able to see if what issues are in the batteries and, and what needs to be fixed. So otherwise, if you just test the battery, it's not gonna tell you anything. It's gonna tell you, you know, the air conditioner doesn't work unless you have that entire car. So this is an imaginary Tesla that talks to the battery packs, which is pretty cool that they, they developed that on their own. So, all right, well, Mike, I thank you. Appreciate it, thank you for your time. Appreciate you. And, uh, we're good. <laughs>